Have you ever thought to yourself, man, the Binding of Isaac is really missing dogs? Well then, you're in luck! Today's mod showcase, Elijah. Playable character. Elijah starts with man's best friend. Hey, bud. We shoot bones. Do you want one of these? Here you go. Seems like the dog kind of wanders around with a mind of its own. I'm gonna call you Cuddles. Who's a good Cuddles? Two health, bad damage, fire rate's fine. Speed's pretty good. Risk of this room? Heck yeah. Cuddles, run! Library, I need key. First floor library's pretty good. Ooh, oh, Cuddles, help! Okay, so we put a status effect on them of the bone and then Cuddles goes and kills them. But we also actually do do damage. Okay, the more we put on them, that guy just got eight. The more bones we put on them, the more of that status effect seem to stack. Pretty fly, I like that. But I got kind of stuck there. I wasn't sure what I was supposed to do to dodge that guy that was coming at me. Let's get that button. What do you think, Cuddles? That was a pretty good button. Should we get the other button too? Oh, ooh, that's a spicy room. First item room, Bloody Gust. Taking damage grants speed and tears up for current floor. If only I would have gotten that prior to... Oh my god. I'm sorry that you had to see that. Wish I would have gotten this item prior to going into the curse room, but I think we're gonna be okay. I think Cuddles has my back. Can I lob over rocks? Cuddles, can you get in there? Oh my god. <laughs> Fish in a barrel! Cuddles, you're a monster. A cuddly monster. Irofant, they're just throwing soul hearts at me. Cuddles, can you get that? Can you go get in there? I'm smart enough to figure this out on my own, Cuddles. I don't need you. Nice secret room find. Bloody Gus, thank you. The tears. Is this it though? This is 433 fire rate? Hey, guess who's gonna go buy some stuff in his shop? Shouldn't be that hard to guess. There's not a whole lot of people here to guess from. Library! Anarchist cookbook. How to jump the Necronomicon. That's bookworm. Am I gonna be able to shoot two bones? No. They could be stacked, we don't know. I'll take poor man's flight. Probably regular secret room here. Five, seven, three. Broken the fire rate cap, but yeah, there must be some special thing with the bone toss. But they just, they don't want you to have too many. At least when you accidentally hit the adds too, when uh, Cuddles kills them, it explodes into like a bunch of tears that shoot out and the tears aren't red. These are all good things. You're a good dog. You're terrifying though. Very excited to have double the amount of items in our item rooms. It's gonna be a spicy run. <laughs> it jumped over that rock just to get him. If I could get homing shots so that those explosions could then come back in implosion style. That'd be cool. Another blood donation machine? That's cool. Can someone get me a key, though? Love when Cuddles has decision paralysis about which enemy to kill first. You're just like your anxious human, aren't you? Lockdown. Item room's got Eden's blessing. Love that. Ooh, can I have that? Looking for keys. Looking for red health. Nice. Whoa. Both of these are really good, but since my fire rate's kind of suffering right now, let's get this one at least first. Am I going to do this before my first deal with the devil? Yeah, we'll go angel. Reverse emperor. Fight another boss for another boss drop. I'm in. Gertie Juniors. Sorry to do this to you, bud. This is going to hurt. Just don't fight it. Let Cuddles cuddle you. Cuddles, you got to get some speed, man. You got to keep up. Come on. No, oh, good jump. I got dead onion. I, d I don't even know if I want that. Am I going to be able to apply the bone effect to everybody? Could be really, really good, in fact. Here I am talking about whether I can get that or not. Can I just jump back there? I don't know why I used a bomb. I didn't think I could jump over a key block, to be honest. Yeah, okay. If you don't have any keys, you can just jump straight over them. No one told me this. I'm just happy that I got it, honestly. It's okay that we spent our bomb and keys. That onion really put a kibosh to my range, though. Oh, the explosions are also shielding and piercing. Shielded plus piercing is muy bueno. Zea net. Netter man. Larry Jr. Kind of feels like we st oh! still don't have piercing. You notice I'm just hitting them with the bone. All right. Let's hope that we can still pierce through and shield enemy bullets. 
And we got a guppy's eye from chaos. Now I kind of feel like I should go deal with the devil, but it's all chaos in the end. Still better to go angel because we can get that chaos item for free. Ooh, blood bag. Mm, stupid range. Tears up, white blue. Oh, what are you doing how to jump? Get this trash out of here. I didn't think it would honestly let you land on spikes like that. Oh, this is such dumb damage. Item run. Oh. Oh. Could be kind of cool, though. Definitely going to go binge eater here, though. It's, it's binge eater. Items will switch between the normal item that spawned and a food related item and if i take the food related item i will also get some stat upgrades oh boy shop's got dinner comes the tears up shot speed up speed down open for angel room here oh the dodge though finish him off boy bite that butt tear it up we did get that angel room I want lunch or breakfast. One's shot speed, one's tears up. Cuddles is like, you don't need food. I'm right here. Give me the food instead. No begging for table scraps, Cuddles. We have belly button or dessert. Am I crazy for wanting trinket space? Trinkets are so good. Let's do it. Endless nameless. Using a pill card rune is 25% chance to drop a copy of that pill card or rune. I have one bomb for you. Sick him, boy. Oh, good shot, purple fire. Oh, well played. Purple Fire MVP. What? That's a pretty nice little dog you got there. Looks really nice. Please don't hurt me. Lucky I don't have any bombs, Tim. Guess who got a bomb? That's no way. Small Rock probably worth taking here. 0.2 tiers up. It's actually a 0.5 tiers up if I just take the health upgrade, but we don't get the damage. But we do get luck. Let's just go Small Rock. And an Onk? No. Dessert. Cuddles, you got yourself stuck, didn't you? God dang, dog. Get out of there. Cuddles, get out of there. There we go. Uh, you did it again. Never mind. Capes too. Another pretty fly. Tears down. That didn't affect me at all. Reverse hanged man. If I can get some extra cash here. Enemies should be dropping coins for like 60 seconds or so. I lost my angel chance because of that. That's nice. I'll struck cuddles. Item room. Maybe forget me now. I mean, maybe even Isaac's tears. If you imagine the ability for me to spread all the tears out and apply the bone effect to possibly more enemies, because my fire rate's just so slow. Nah, still boring. I mean, in my boss trap room, one of the few joys in life. Go ahead and take that rotten meat off your hands. We're done here. I actually don't have to fight through this. Let's do forget me now. Let's just use it now. Dice room. Three. Rerolls all consumables on the floor. Double bombs sound nice though. Thank you. Lusty blood and bloody gust. That sounds like a pretty good combo. If we could just get like IV bag or something. Lusty blood actually being the one where you get a damage up per kill. Never mind. I mean, IV bag would still be really good. Rock bottom would be really good. Oh, cheap packed. And an ace of spades. I'll take the syringe. Another Gertie Jr. Oh, you want the Gertie Jr. To, to try to charge at you only left and right. It makes it much easier to dodge than when it's going diagonally. I'll take some stigmata. Oh no, no. My three room turned that into a cracked crown and I can't go get it. Tank Daps 1. We're doing great, Cuddles. Claudy, bud. You also shooting bones? No, you're shooting the tears that I would have if I wasn't this character. This sounds really good. Actual high fire rate, piercing, spectral, shielded tears now. We have the benefit of our... Ah! How did that hit me, Claudy, bud? Just sitting in the back like, oh... I missed. Are you cuddles, you're still good. Maybe one day I'll get, I'll get some pets. Wiggle worm. I, I kind of like the wiggle worm. I'm not going to lie. It gives you a tears up. Star of Bethlehem. Heck yes. Standing in the aura of the Star of Bethlehem gives us a huge stat boost 
and homing. It's a carry item. If we just stand in this until we get to the boss room, we'll just destroy the boss. Like, look at the difference it makes. Obviously not with my bones. The bones seem actually unaffected by fire rate. Okay, that uh, upgraded boss bar on the bottom of the screen, that did not necessarily work out for that boss. Every single nub had a health bar. Like, it makes sense, but that was clutter. By the way, my most recently subscribed mods, obviously Elijah, character portrait overhaul, balls with no steel, improved charge bars, unique C-section fetuses, Unique birthright sprites. Uh, for bad items, high effort. Minecraft glass, holy mantle sound effect. Cry. Planetarium chance mod. Boss rush wave counter. Hanging dream catcher. Enhanced boss bars. Echo chamber guide. So if I really wanted to, I could start using my mouse. Let's see if I can turn that off. There we go. That's distracting. I don't need it right now. Star of Bethlehem, wait up though. Sister Vis, let's go. You're standing in my Star of Bethlehem. Could you move, please? Oh my goodness. I'm actually tempted to take some juicy sack. I don't think it's that bad. And I suppose I'll check out my deal with the devil. Not very excited to have it. I suppose if I just go for the health, we still get stat ups for it. And it's essentially free. Is it time for wiggle worm yet? I think so. Didn't actually give me a tears up though. Doesn't break the cap. So with shielded tears, let's just not take it. Sorry, bud. Jar of wisps. That could be pretty fun. Or damage up plus rune. Let's take the jar. Every single time I use the jar, 12 room recharge, by the way, I get one more wisp for it. Wow. What a top secret room. What a collection of pills. Star of Bethlehem carry. It's too bad you can't push a button though to make the star go a little bit faster. Steps two, so I'm gonna drop you off here, star. I'll be back. Don't do anything dad wouldn't do, okay? Be nice to the other stars. More good pills. Delicious. Ooh. Oh. Did you know that thing's supposed to pay out 25% of the time? Nothing but lies. This is nice, though, for maxing out my stats. Got it. Take the purity. That's just supper. Nice. Supper or dinner? That is the question, chat. Supper or dinner? Take the luck. An arrange upgrade? I could get it just to get more supper dinner. Breakfast. Snack. Or contagion? Jello sounds actually pretty nice here too. Because Jello probably will be shooting the same thing as my Claudie bud. If I get more cash, I'll come back. Or I could just, you know, get the cash myself. Thank you. Jar of wisps, really great. But I kind of want to see what Jello is going to do in this situation. Yeah. Piercing shielded tears. Hmm. I kind of like Big Fan. Doesn't take away one of my current orbitals. And now everything moves really, really slowly. If you look on the side of my Big Fan, it's a, a wall of two flies in the Big Fan, which is also a fly. One last dessert. Mom fight. Go. Wow. Didn't stand a chance. Free dinner. We're getting really, really close boss rooms, close to my starting room. This is weird. Careful, Cuddles. You're getting a little close with those sharp teeth to my juicy sack. Mr. Fred! Let's go! It's pretty much not even a video anymore because of Star of Bethlehem. This is what most rooms are going to look like. Cool. Oh, item though. I'll take homing bombs. Sure, why not? To hold you over while you wait for this boring ass womb and cathedral. Let's talk about the three items they've added in this mod. Number one, Eidolon's Bone. Periodically firing arcing bones alongside your normal tears. Arcing bones aren't affected by your stats, but apply baby curse to whatever they hit. Familiars deal additional damage to enemies with baby curse. So it's basically just doubling the fire right here. Or giving bone shot to enemies that don't have it. Second up, Dog Skull. One bone heart will occasionally summon low health friendly shadies, provided you don't already have one active. Cool. Wow, that seems really powerful. Last one, War Jaws. Buddy, can you give me a second here? I'm trying to do a showcase. Last one, War Jaws. Double tap bite attack. This bite attack deals 2.5 times damage and applies dog curse to anything hit. Deals additional damage to targets with dog curse. Yep, okay, so it's like. I'm now biting exactly like Cuddles and applying that curse. Also loving the sprite change. Looks really good. One last thing, the soul of Elijah. Grants an Eidolon for the duration of the current floor. Periodically applies dog curse to the strongest enemy in the room. 
Eidolon aggressively targets and deals extra damage to enemies with Dog Curse. Are you Eidolon, Cuddles? Is that you? That must be you. Am I going to get a second one then if I use it? Yeah. For the floor, mind you. That's... That's really good. All right, back to the run. Perfection, ooh, let's try. More chests, potentially, the higher your luck is. Oh, dad's key. Oops, wasn't fast enough. Whoa, 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 easy there. Easy, guys. Trying to hang on to my perfection. My Claudie buddy's dead. Oh, wow. It's up to you, Cuddles. Ooh. Okay, never mind. Get him, boy. Oh, wow. That's going to wrap up the Elijah mod. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I was pleasantly surprised at this. I really liked how it changed up the way that you play the game without making it stupid. I think that's hard to do. Come here, Cuddles. You've been very good today. Thank you so much for being a good boy. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.